1997 SummerSlam, you find the British Bulldog, and oh. there's a match. And if the if you lose, you have to eat dog food. And for some strange reason, somebody told me a story where that was real dog food, and you really ate the dog food. Now, was it real dog food? Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> yes. No. Yes, it was. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was. It's real. Absolutely. They couldn't have, like, you know, put some ground beef in there? Just uh, you know, I think the rib was on me. <laughs> How much did you actually <laughs> though because like you know it's like all over your face and you go crazy and you beat yeah. up refs yeah I, I didn't eat any of it i mean it got in my mouth but i didn't eat it oh yeah i was i was hoping that you'd be like yeah. no it's not true. <laughs> it was ground beef yeah so, no it, it 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 definitely got in my mouth but i didn't eat it <laughs> sorry to disappoint you guys <laughs> oh yeah the disappointment of all the fans, Shamrock fans finding out it's like oh damn yeah. i wrote a whole book about the time that he, he really or didn't really eat dog food that's amazing that you actually did that congratulations on that because <laughs> i i can't believe that someone would be like hey because they easily you know you've seen stuff before where it's like this is not real like jake the snake roberts had his snake killed by the earthquake once that wasn't a real snake but knowing somebody like maybe vincent may be like let's put a real snake in there and see what it's like it, you, yeah you don't know right you just don't know yeah, no i mean mm -hmm. can you eat dog food oh my god uh <laughs> What was it like working with the British Bulldog, though? Because he's such a, a great talent that, unfortunately, we've lost. Yeah, no question. Good guy. Um, he was incredibly athletic. Um, even for his size, he moved really well for a big, muscular guy. Uh, but really easy to work with. Just a great guy. I mean, I guess he had his moments where he would lose his temper and get out of the way. You know, I mean, because, you know, he's nobody you want to mess with. So, you know, it's, it, again, uh, everybody has their stories about him. Um, you know, it's kind of like where a fan comes up and asks for your autograph, which I've never done this, but I, I get how people can. Whereas maybe you sit down with your family, something happens, and a guy snaps at a, a fan, and he goes back and he tells his friends about it. Next thing you know, this guy's an ass. <laughs> mm. One incident, right? So I think Bulldog's kind of a little bit like that, where he's had his moments, but with me, he's always been um, always cool, great to work with, and a good guy.